We are back in the year 1985, continuing our look at the Thundercats toy line by LJN. Previously, we took a look at Mumra, Slythe, and Jackalman, three of the four main villains released in the first series. Only one evil mutant remains, the dim-witted but powerful Monkeyan. And today, we'll be taking a look at Monkeyan, here on Creed's Collection. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. Today we're checking out Monkey Inn from the 1985 toy line Thundercats by LJN. Monkey Inn, like the rest of the mutants, is from the planet Plundar. And while he isn't very bright, he makes up for that by being an excellent spy. His ability to move quickly and quietly through the forests of Third Earth make him perfect for gathering intel against the Thundercats. Not to mention the fact that he's probably the strongest of the three original mutants, making him extremely dangerous in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Monkeyan gets along well with the other mutants, rarely asserting any desire to lead. He seems happy to act as a subordinate to Slive, generally deferring to his leadership. And now that we know a little bit more about Monkeyan, let's go ahead and take a closer look. So the number one thing I notice about Monkeyan is that he is so ferocious looking compared to how he looks on the cartoon. Now don't get me wrong, on the cartoon he's big and imposing, but he always has a look on his face like he's caught off guard or he's sad. But the toy looks anything but that. He actually looks really angry and imposing. And even though he never took his helmet off on the show, it is removable for the toy, so here he is without it. Looks more like a werewolf without it if you ask me. And I have to say, I think the face sculpt is incredible. There's a quick side view with him without the helmet. The only thing I don't like about it is if you look at it straight on, ugh, look at that eye on the right. And I realize that's not a sculpt error, it's a paint application error, but man, it really throws off the face. As we come around to the back side, you can see his Battlematic action switch in the center of his back there. And I have to say that the sculpting on the fur looks really incredible. Reminds me of the Wampa from Empire Strikes Back. His Battlematic action switch is right here in the center of his back, like all Thundercats figures. And when you push it down, it actually makes him swing around his included Morningstar weapon. And I mean swing it around, like this thing whips around violently. That weapon is awesome, I can't wait to show it to you in a second. But first, we'll go ahead and take a look at Monkeyan's articulation. So, both the hips are articulated, and they can go up just a little bit, as you can see. Not very much, but they can't go back at all. And the arm can swing up, and it technically can do a full 360. And the other arm's got the Battlematic action switch, so it doesn't pose super well. The head can turn left and right, and that is it. That covers Monkeyan's five points of articulation. Now I'll go ahead and take a look at Monkeyan's accessories. We'll start off with his helmet, which is pretty faithful to the cartoon, other than it doesn't have the chin strap that would hang to the side. I really like this horn here on the front. I think that's pretty awesome looking. And it fits on him pretty well and tends to stay on him, which is nice. It rarely falls off if you're playing with him. So overall, this is an excellent accessory. And now behold, one of the greatest weapons I've ever seen in a toy. Real chain, real spiked ball, real weight. This is a real morning star, just tiny. And I love it. I, I mean it. This is one of the best weapons I've ever seen. Even though the handle does kind of look a lot like a lightsaber. Still really cool. So both of Monkeyan's accessories are excellent. Monkeyan's copyright information is located on the bottom of his right foot. 1985 Telepix, LJN Toys. And now for our He-Man size comparison. At this point I'm thinking I can just put my Thundercats and Masters figures on the same shelf together because look how well they go together. Monkeyan basically is just another version of Beast Man. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do a Beast Man size comparison. See? I'm telling you, those two would definitely hang out. No. No. Not like that. No. Just stop it. Go home. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy review for Monkeyan from the 1985 toy line Thundercats by LJN. Doing Creed's collection has really changed my opinion on some of these toy lines. As a child, I thought Thundercats were big and clunky, but as an adult, I love them. I think they display wonderfully, and I'm really glad I have them. 
If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it and help my channel grow. I review a toy from my vintage collection every Wednesday. So I hope to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collections.